Hey guys, welcome to the Central Valley Film Project. At this point, you probably know we're gonna be making three professional short films by the end of summer, but that's about it. You might be wondering what this project's all about or why myself or someone you know may have brought it up to you. Well, let me explain as briefly as I can. Let me start with where I fit into this. My name is Jacob True and I'm from Modesto here in the Central Valley. I have always loved movies, but not in the sense that I just like to watch them, but I also love to make them. I have these vivid memories of my older brother running around making these videos with his friends and I adored them. It was so cool to me that someone was able to compose a whole video all by themselves. So in my aspirations to be as cool as my older brother, I decided to learn filmmaking. This led to hours and hours and hours of binge watching videos on YouTube. I'd watch behind the scenes of all the movies I loved. I'd look up tutorials on how to make your friend shoot lasers out of his eyes. I wanted to know everything and began to teach myself the ins and outs of everything filmmaking. It has now gotten to the point where I can feel comfortable calling myself a filmmaker. However, that may not seem like an appropriate title. I'm not employed in the film industry. I've never made my own commercial project. I haven't brushed shoulders with big celebrities. I'm not graduated from a film school. I haven't even attended a film school. And yet, I can still call myself a filmmaker. Why? Simple. I just love to make movies. I haven't done any of those things. And you may even be surprised that I don't necessarily want to do those things. What I want to do is like kind of my own thing. You see, for most of my life, I find myself rubbing against the grain more often than not, choosing the road less traveled. I hate being told what I have to do. I hate all of the busy work in school. I hate doing something just for the sake of doing something. It feels empty, time wasting, hollow. It just doesn't feel like me. So that's how I knew filmmaking was for me. I couldn't settle for a do nothing job that solely puts bread on the table. I needed something more. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he wants to make movies. Well, at least he can't make any other poor decisions in life. Now this is where you'll learn. It's bad to underestimate my poor decision making. I love film and I will do anything to make a living off of it, but I just don't like the Hollywood system. Every time I do research on it, it seems like it's universally agreed upon that nobody likes it. People often get chewed up and spit out by these studios. They often value creativity a lot less. It is now art devolving slowly into product. I want to make a real impact and shift the movie scene away from a corporate Hollywood and back into the hands of a creative. And that's where the film project fits into all of this. The film project isn't necessarily a single project, but rather what I would like to call a movement. What this project is aiming to do is show that ordinary people can create extraordinary films. The amount of talent I have seen alone in this past year is staggering. I have met incredible actors, videographers, directors, writers, painters, you name it, the Central Valley has it. A lot of people possess the talent to pursue these interests in an actually meaningful way, but more often than not, they don't. They think it's too far fetched to become an artist. They think that talent isn't there or they simply lack community and opportunity. The project's larger and more intangible goal is to remove all of these hurdles. The project's mission is to demonstrate how much talent there really is in the Central Valley. I've talked a lot about myself up to this point, but I'm by no means a one man army. This wouldn't exist without the incredible talent that I have been talking about. I will be the head producer as well as one of the directors of the three short films. However, I will also be joined by Marciano Zapian, a wonderful talent from Stockton. Marciano is one of the directors, writers, and producers of the Central Valley Film Project. I will also be joined by Roman Acosta. Roman is another one of the producers and directors on the project and his enthusiasm is one of the biggest reasons why this project got kicked off to begin with. I do have a couple of other producers locked in as well as some other crew members, but for the sake of brevity, I can't mention them all here. What's important is that we already have a group of excited people ready to strive towards a common goal. I've talked a lot about how I fit into this project as well as some of my other fellow members. However, how does the general Central Valley fit into this? How do you fit into this? Well, I find it frustrating that whenever someone makes it big, they never seem to represent the valley. They just get swept up in all the fame and glory and they forget we had ever existed. I want to change that. 
I want to create something that doesn't just originate from the Central Valley, but embodies it as a whole. The Central Valley Film Project in its ultimate form would be something everyone everywhere could recognize as a cultural and communal achievement. We do have crew members locked in for some particular roles, however, there's still more needed. There's plenty of crew behind the camera that we could still use, we have yet to cast these films, and we could just use some general helping hands. Do you have a cool location that just screams cinematic? Send it to us. Do you have a cool costume or prop that you've always wanted to see used on the big screen? Send it to us. This is going to be a community effort in every sense of the word. I'm talking a lot about how people can make this big dream of ours a reality, but here's easily the most significant thing you can contribute to us. Talk about it. I'm serious. That's all I really need from you. Simply send this project to everyone you know, and I mean everyone you know. Send them this video, send them to our social media pages, just simple word of mouth, anything helps. You made it this far into the video, so you either really care about this project or just care about someone involved. Whatever the reason is, as of right now, you're the strongest base that we have. This is a grassroots movement, so we need as many people as possible to be aware of what we're doing here. Show everyone that the Central Valley is ready for a film renaissance, and you could help bolster the dreams and hopes of everyone involved in this project. Again, please share this video, like this video, just get the community talking about it because that's what this is all about. You can go ahead and follow us at CVFP209 on Instagram or Twitter, or simply find us on Facebook. All of those links are gonna be in the description. The more followers we can accumulate, the clearer we'll be to potential media outlets, sponsors, and just other artists that there is a demand for this sort of thing in the Central Valley. So please, let's get some feet on the ground and let's get this thing moving forward. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. It means the world to myself and all of the people involved that you are out here supporting us. If you want to contact us, feel free to reach out one of our social media pages or even send us an email at the web address below as well. Again, spread this as much as possible so we can truly see how big our sphere of influence is. With all that being said, I'll see you next time at the Central Valley Film Project.